Hey everyone, it's Kirby Green Hat. Here with a battle against the Golden Warrior or Charbdang. Um I always hate to say that I played poorly in a match it makes it sound like a really bad excuse. And when I say I played poorly it does not mean that my opponent also played poorly. My opponent played played great. But I will say that I don't think I played all that great in this match. It was okay. So I decided to lead off with Weekly. I'm trying out different combinations of my current Pokemon while I'm still breeding more guys. Um, I seem to like Night Slash, so I got to Nocturne, but he sets up the Trick Room, which is surprising, and that I'm apparently faster than him in the Trick Room. I kind of assumed that on Trick Room team he'd have a really slow Gallade, but he doesn't. I knew I could live one close combat. I don't really know why I wish. I probably should have yawned. Um, I Baton Pass, go to Tweeback. Close combat doesn't deal much. He's now at minus two in both defenses, and the Wish is going to heal me right back up again. Now... I was kind of predicting him to switch to probably something that could take a grass and or ground move, so I set up my Leech Seed, and I was praying he did not have Ice Punch. And he Destiny Bonds. Uh, yeah, I get Leech Seed damage. I set up my Stealth Rocks in case he Destiny Bonds again, but he close combats. I believe he gets a critical hit. It really doesn't make a single bit of difference. I live it. You know, I'm getting Leech Seed damage. All that stuff. It makes no difference. Um... Yeah, now, I decided to Earthquake, and I go first because he used Trick Room, not knowing that Trick Room had negative priority, so that's why I was faster. I wasn't actually faster, I was considerably slower, but I went first. Go out to a Heatran. Um, I guess I just don't, didn't really have anything to take the Flamethrower, so I stayed and let myself let Treeback die. And I already kind of have a physical wall already in Nocturne, and... Yeah, like I have my stealth box up and stuff. You go out to a Porygon 2, and I have Swords Dance. Um, I'm not fearing anything. I, I know I can take one Thunderbolt, and I Aqua Jet. It deals a sizable chunk. Wish it would done uh, would have done more, but I did not expect it to do much more than that. I Aqua Jet again for more damage. Um, he does Thunderbolt, and just my luck, he puts me just a few hit points above Torrent range. So that made me angry. If he had dealt... Uh, let's see, I can do math quickly. Four more damage, I would have been in Torrent range and be able to KO him with another Aqua Jet. I endure, assuming he'd just go try to finish me off with um, Thunderbolt, but he doesn't. He recovers, so that's bad. I hope I can get the Endure again, but I don't. He Thunderbolts, I die. And his Porygon 2 is back at full health. Man, it's like the one time you want the Thunderbolt to deal a bit more, it doesn't. It just never goes the way you want it to. I go into Nocturne. I know I can take probably multiple Thunderbolts, so I yawn. Uh, it deals exactly half of the amount I had left, but then after leftovers, it means it will not be able to KO me. Twisted Dimension to turn to normal. I should have yawned again, I think, but I did go for the Wish, which is, you know, oh well. Now I get a, a virtually free switch to something. Uh, although Nocturne's still kind of dying. Go to Sheep Shock, Flamethrower. I expected it to deal about half, and it deals a bit past half. But I think after Leftovers and Wish, I'm back at full. So that's, you know, free switch and all. Um, I'm reluctant to go for a Thunder Wave because it's a Trick Room team I'm against. So I go for the um, Focus Blast, and he goes for the Porygon too, which is nice, because Focus Blast does a whopping amount of damage to the Porygon 2, just short of a KO, just short of a KO. But, you know, I just, I can just discharge take it out. Sheep Shock isn't faster than much, but he is faster than the Porygon 2, or he went for the Trick Room, I'm not sure. Goes back out to the Heatran, I decide, you know what, I'm just going to paralyze this thing. I don't like it gallivanting around being faster than my team with its pathetic choice scarf. So I know I'm against the Trick Room team, but I paralyze it anyways. Um, I go for the Focus Blast here. I should have gone for the Discharge, but I w didn't know he had a Slow King. And I miss anyways. It wouldn't have dealt anything. I Discharge coming up, right? Yes, yes I do. Good job, memory. I Discharge. I've, I'm not expecting it to KO. Slow King's got Special Defense. That is big. That's a horrible sentence. I don't need a sentence. That was just... That was just oh, special defense that... No. Hold on. I'm going to figure this one out. Oh, well, you guys probably don't care. Um, yeah, Metagross. I d d d d discharge. 
and I just accidentally stuttered. Um, I don't think I can live in Earthquake, but I stay in anyways. See, I should have gone out to Zoogle Crow, I guess. Like, I don't know. I, I was playing too over, over, over predicty, I guess. I don't know. I should have gone to Zoogle Crow. I was kind of fearing explode. It would have been a better move to go to Zoogle Crow, alright? I made a bad move. But, doesn't make that much different, because he just ice punches. And, um, I do actually survive it, which is nice. And I heat wave. And because he runs, I believe, he said max HP, uh, Metagross, my heat wave leads him at, I think, like, 4 HP or something, which is unfortunate. And bullet punch is, of course, gonna take me out. Yeah. So. Yes. Groovy story. Uh, Nocturne. I yawn. Make it drowsy. He meteor mashes and knocks me out. Now, apparently, at some point, the Twisted Dimensions had returned to normal. And I guess I missed it, because I go out to my last remaining Pokemon, which is Requiem. And I thought I was slower, so I was going to die. So I could possibly win if I got a Calm Mind and he missed a Meteor Mash. But I was faster, so I could have just gone for the Signal Beam and probably taken it out. But I didn't. Would have made much of a difference. And I go down. So that was a good game, Trob Dang. I mean, it was also on his birthday, so, you know, he's supposed to win, at least. Uh, so, yeah, happy birthday to you. I uh, hope you guys at least moderately enjoyed it. Leave a comment, rate the video, and subscribe. And yeah, that's all for now.